All right, guys, we are uh, water testing our new JT Upper Decker. Uh, this is the new uh, redesign we just are launching, and uh, it's waterproof. We got rid of the hole. We've got some uh, weather stripping that comes along the side, so we're running this thing through the car wash. When we're all done, we'll pull it out, and we'll take a look and see how it did. Very dry, just around the tailgate. It's pretty good. Considering it was pressure washed all the way down the sides, there's very little. When I opened the uh, tonneau cover, some ran down. Yeah, for a high pressure wash, that's pretty solid. Hey guys, Adam from Mace Engineering. Just wanted to do a quick follow up on the upper decker. This is version 2.0, which is a waterproof version. So we've just been running through the car wash a few times, trying to see if we can get it to fail. Uh, high pressure kind of basically power washed, if you will, through the uh, sills. We've had it out in the, the rain, driving on the expressway. It's completely sealed, but now we're at the power wash. We want to see if we can try to get it to fail. So it's done really well. Uh, the upper decker now is solid all the way across, as you can see. There's seals all the way around the entire perimeter to keep the water out go to open it we'll kind of talk about the features real quick this is the safety latch it's a double detent double detent latch so you have to open this in order to get it to release same thing on the other side and after that we'll lift it up and it's got two 75 pound uh, shocks 75 pounds on each side um, so it's attached to some factory provisions here for the shock the provisions that are in the uh, tonneau cover itself two hinges in the front as you can see, the seal all the way down the entire length and across the front of the ball pit, if you can see in there. So there's still some factory holes in the front uh, of the bed that are open to the elements, but from what we've developed, it's sealed all the way around. So basically, um, after that's open, you have that support, drop it back down into place, put the latch, Thing here, put the latch, it locks into place. You have the seal across the back of the tailgate. And you can see that that squeezes the seal all the way across. So we've added holes on the top of the uh, uh, tonneau cover upper decker all the way around. And that's all the provisions for uh, your roto packs, your rooftop tent, uh, high lift, shovel, um, you know, lots of different options that we're coming up with, but wanted to update it. You know, we had, no, we had a lot of demand for a waterproof version. So this is where we're at. We're pretty happy with it. Obviously, this is bare. It will come powder coated. Um, but yeah, very happy. Waterproof. I think it's exactly what we were looking for.